This here is the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and this here is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Guys, this here is a raw image. So what happens when we shoot raw versus JPEG or let's say compressed images? This is very important and I'm gonna try to set the scene so we get a nice understanding of what is happening on the background. So most of the people, including me, are using the JPEG format. It is a compression and this format has been around since at least the last 20, 30 years from the 90s. A lot of people are also using HEIC, but anyway, that's a whole lot of story. It's a new compression and maybe there are some gains, guys. But to go back to the point, when we're using JPEG, what actually happens is when we take an image, the photo has been processed by the sensor and then saved and a lot of the information is just scraped and then you end up with having an image that is more or less static. Now, why would we choose to shoot we roll? And this is very important and this is what I wanna show you, something that exists here but does not exist here as a stock functionality. But when we shoot raw images, we end up with having bigger files. And the thing is, we're getting the image directly from the sensor. Now, this is the ideal scenario. With smartphones nowadays, you know, they use the some kind of cooking sometimes, but nevertheless, the main idea is that by shooting raw, you're supposed to get an image with all the information from the sensor in a... Usually what I do with raw images, I just swipe up and then I have the option directly to edit them in Lightroom. But what if I want to edit them directly with the Samsung stock? editor directly from the gallery. So this thing pops up on the S24 Ultra. So apparently I can just go auto and I can try to tweak the highlights and of course also the shadows, which is a lot of the things that people want to change on the photos. Now see here guys, even when I try to edit the highlights from this stock editor, you know, a lot of the other information will try to pop up as well. So not certainly all the things that I regard as highlights and the same goes to the shadows. But it gets even more interesting when I just enter the edit mode from the S25 Ultra. Because why? Well, the S25 Ultra has now a stock raw image editor. And you can see that I have plenty, plenty more options. So uh, of course I have the auto, but then I have uh, the option to correct the whole exposure, right? Or let's say just do the contrast or increase the contrast, right? Or guys, edit the highlights. And now this is where it gets interesting because if I remove the auto guys, right? See here what happens with this editor, right? If I try to pump the highlights, we're going to get this result also with the sky enhancing a bit. But on the S25 Ultra guys, having a dedicated, you know, raw image editor, you know, I can control the highlights in a much better way. Now, pay attention guys, this is a very nice shot and this is why I'm using this as an example because here we have a night shot, right? And we have illuminated areas which we consider to be the highlights and then of course also we have darker elements here which we consider to be the shadows. So what happens when I try to pump up the highlights, guys? You can see the sky here gets also pumped, right? But in general, I get a bit more dramatic effect here on the windows. And this is a way for me to enhance the shot if I like, right? Just to kind of engage with the drama and be a bit more punchy. And the same thing on the shadows. If I go here, you know, with the stock RAW editor on the S25 Ultra, I can do this also on the shadows. And you can see now I can just try to pop up the shadows, right? And it's going to remain a certainly good picture. Now, what happens when I go here on the S24 Ultra and I try to pump up the shadows, guys? Yeah, it's not so good, guys. It's not so comparable. And the thing is, on the S24 Ultra, we just don't have a raw image editor like in stock. So even if you try to, again, I'll show you about highlights. If you try to go and adjust the highlights, you end up with messing the whole exposure. But now with the S25 Ultra raw image stock editor, guys, I can do this in a more nuanced way. And not only contrast, right? which we've seen here, we have the highlights, the shadows, we have also vibrant, so I can make the picture more vibrant. I can also pump up the saturation or just go for something like this that will be very dull, by the way, and now I can go back to the highlights and I can try to, you know, limit down the highlights for again, for a more dramatic look. So you can see this is a powerful thing, specifically if you're in photography, right? And the good thing is you don't need to buy additional tools like Lightroom or other programs. You can just directly do this with the stock camera. Now, the rumor is that the S24 series will also get this raw image editor with some of the updates, but right now, this is not yet the state. And there are certainly a lot of gains when you try to edit raw images in post, and this is the idea of the video I'm gonna try to share. So let's take this picture, guys. I can hit auto. Yeah, I don't really like auto. I can try to correct the whole exposure. 
exposure, which will not really give me the desired look. So what I wanna do right now, I'm going to increase the contrast a bit. Then guys, I'm gonna go inside the highlights and I'm gonna try to bump the highlights a bit so that the flower can really stand out. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to reduce the shadows. Then I'm going to achieve this very dramatic look with the flower centered and with this very nice and beautiful bokeh. Now I want to get more color, so I'm gonna pop up the vibrance a bit and I'm gonna also try to increase the saturation. And you can pretty much see, right, if I don't like the way it looks, like if I think that the colors are off, I can correct the whole temperature and make it cold like this, which is really, really good. And of course, there is also the noise. And, and then guys, I can just try to save this and also export it to a JPEG. But this was a nice example where you can see what I was able to achieve with editing the raw image. Another one that I think is a good scenario, guys, let me try to edit this one. Why do I think that's a good scenario? Because we have very pronounced highlights and very, very dark shadows. So if I try to limit down the whole exposure, I'm not gaining anything. I don't really like how it looks like. But if I try to just tone down or tone up the highlights a bit, I can achieve more. And same with the shadows, guys. Now you can see the moment I try to pump up more on the shadows, I guess the image will try to fall apart. But nevertheless, I'm even able to see what my sensor information was able to capture. This is something that you cannot achieve from a compressed image like JPEG or even HEIC, you know, with a standard compressed photo. This is just impossible. And of course, with shooting RAW, you just are getting these advantages. Now have in mind, the photos will end up just ending up bigger in terms of size. But the main thing is those are, in theory, non-process photos, right? We know a bit with the smartphones, it's a different story. You can just rewind the beginning of the video. But the idea is you're gonna get more information around the colors, also shadows and highlights. The whole exposure manipulation is just so easier with raw images. And you're even able to see where the sensor falls apart like this, by the way. So there are really certainly a lot of benefit when you try to shoot with, with raw. And and by using the standard expert row, you can also go and choose the 24 megapixel mode that is not available in the pro mode or in the stock camera mode. So now my main camera with the S25 Ultra is I'm shooting 24 megapixels, either raw and JPEG or directly just straight raw, when I just want to memorize the moment, capture the moment and you know keep it forever and also be able to edit it. If you wanna check some more in-depth videos about technology and camera, smartphones, and you name it, just go and watch some of my older videos. VST over and bye.